again, because of his critical detachment, uh, because of his insistence on expressing his ideas in this kind of witty and elusive format, uh, we can see some traces of Fortress Besieged, which he has to write later. We can see how these works anticipate that wonderful novel. Uh, but at the same time, uh, because of the essay format and because of the short story format, the, that changes his approach. And so he'll have a whole essay, for example, on prejudices. And he's ironically you know, doing kind of a paradoxical encomia, praising something we usually think of as a very negative thing. Uh, right? Prejudices are bad because they, they keep you from being objective. But he's, he starts his essay by, essay by saying, you know, if we always had to be objective, it would be like looking in the bathroom mirror and having to strike photogenic poses, you know, or having a, having a house with no bedroom and only, a, you know, a guest receiving area. So you always have to be on, essentially. But he's essentially claiming that prejudices are a part of human nature. He talks about how this is even a physiological phenomenon because the heart is not in the center of the human body. It's actually off to one side. And he even makes this aside about, you know, and most fashionably of all, it's inclined slightly to the left. So this is, you know, 1930s, 1940s, and the leftist politics were, uh, were very fashionable. So this is something that I think he could do better through the essay format, and that's one of the unique things that we find in this work.